welcome back to my youtube channel today's video we are doing an apartment tour if you're new to this channel you will not know the fact that i just moved to los angeles california all the way from the uk and i'm here to do my phd studies amazing i've been here for three days total so i literally feel like a Californian girl now but you know um so welcome to my new apartment I wanted to give you guys a tour because I'm about to go to Target and start like filling up the place and right now it's completely empty and I thought that's the best way to start this journey is to show you the completely empty apartment so I'm so happy to begin my PhD in like less than a week so I'm trying to get as much of the house together as I can and I'm really excited you guys know I had a little debate with myself I was like do we do a studio do we do a two bed which way do we go and I decided two beds because I just knew that I needed space and studio would have been too small. One bed would have been perfect, but they were sold out of one beds, and I'm gonna get the one bed next year. But for this year, we're in two beds. I'm really excited. So let's get into the apartment tour. Thank you so much for being here. If you're new, please do press subscribe. It's the PhD Diaries, and it's the journey to becoming Dr. V. It's underway. So thank you so much for being here, and let's get into this tour. Okay, this is the entrance. So this is the door, and I've got a bit of rubbish piling up. So don't look because I'm gonna get rid of that in a minute. But it's quite a nice like walkway it's given the same vibes as London I feel um, but the difference is in America everything is bigger like everything's bigger whether it's apple juice whether it's an actual orange whether it's apartments like everything just comes up bigger so this what we're in right now is my kitchen space which I'm really happy about because it's very spacious and I like the colors a black fridge is and this is my freezer and it's quite cold this is freezer but it's quite big and you look at how big the fridge is like I don't know am I the only one who thinks that's like a little bit crazy this is my hand for reference by the way and I think it's because this apartment is meant to be for two people so maybe that's why the fridge is so spacious but I'm happy about it the different cabinets but obviously I'm so small that I do not think I, I think I need to buy a stool to be able to reach there because I do not have the length to reach up there and then we have my microwave which is really hot like in the UK it would take about five minutes to warm something up which here in this thing it could take you 20 seconds I heated something up today and I kid you not in 10 seconds it was piping hot so it's a bit dangerous this thing but I'll, I'll learn how to use it then the oven is so spacious look at that it's so massive and so spacious Spacious! I'm so happy. And there's just a lot of storage, as you guys know. I'm obsessed with storage. There is a lot of it. Like, I'm gonna literally have so much space to put things. It's not even gonna be a joke. And they're deep as well. Like, I really like how deep they go. So if you look in here, I could do like, I could do all the cereals, everything that I need. And they're quite deep, and they run quite high. And there is a lot of storage. Like. That is storage, that is storage, that is storage, 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 more storage up there, more storage up there. We even have some more under the sink. We have a um, dishwasher. Oh yeah, it is, I haven't opened it yet. It's a dishwasher, which is great. I don't really use dishwashers, honestly. I just wasn't raised that way. Like, in our house, dishwashers were always um, storage units. That's essentially the kitchen. Like, it's quite spacious. Like I said, you can do quite a lot of movement in here. And then I have one of those sinks that has one of those things. I literally always wanted to have a sink that has this, like the hose pipey type of thing. Um, I think it's quite cool. I love that if I'm cooking or I'm hosting, I can be looking out to the living room. See what I mean? Like the view that I can have is like I can talk to my guests while I'm like chefing it up in the kitchen. See, because the space allows for that, I feel like I could really be like a hostess with the mostess. Like to be able to be like, food is ready, or to serve people breakfast, bar stools, or to study. Like I just like the variety. It's beautiful, it's big, it's spacious, it has a lot of storage, and it's it's a dream. Straight from the kitchen, we move into the living room. So here, I'm thinking I wanna put bar stools here, because then people can like do things. I can even study here if I want to, because you do need a variety of um, space and different things like that. Then this is the whole living room. Like this space here is now the living room, and it's quite spacious. It's, it's big. I love that we have a lot of window and a lot of air 
coming in because I like natural light. So I don't really know what I'm gonna do here. Like I don't know if I'm gonna do a TV. I don't really, I don't love a TV. I'll be honest, I don't love a TV because I don't really watch TV. So I might just put a couch here. Well, no, the couch would have to go this side, surely, right? So maybe put a couch over here, a bean bag, uh, 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 I don't know. I don't know what I'm going to do with it because it's so big. But I feel like because the sun is coming this way, we could do a couch here, but the door's right there. So I don't know, guys, but that's the living room. It's quite spacious, quite big. There's a lot of space to play with. So I don't know what I'm going to do. Walk over this side, and this is going to be my office, I think. Like, I would really like this room to be my office space honestly can't tell the size because i just feel like the camera doesn't do it justice but the size of this room is really big like it's massive <laughs> i lost my shoes the size of this room is massive to be a second room for someone else but obviously i've taken both rooms in the apartment so i'm gonna make this my office and like where if i do have guests they can do the blow up bed and sleep in there I'm like, I could never fill this space. So I don't know what I'm going to actually do. I'm very pleased about the amount of natural light that comes in here. It's very, very bright. And this is the door to the living room and the kitchen. So then when you come in here, you can close it up. And now you're in the office. And it has another closet in here. So this is where my shoes and my handbags are gonna be. But then I can close it up and it's locked up. So this is the bathroom which is very, very big. Guys, I must say, like, the bathroom is ridiculous, really. Like, really? This is ridiculous, don't you think? Very clean, very tidy, very spacious. Like, you cannot touch both sides of the wall, which I'm happy about. Um, I love it. Okay, so that's the first half of the house. You've just seen the office side, the living room side, the kitchen side over there. Now we're gonna go into here, which is my bedroom. And um, my room. So this is the room that I've chosen to be my bedroom. I have a blow up bed right now because obviously I haven't yet found a bed. Obviously gonna be my room. And I've been playing around with which way to put the bed, whether to put it here, whether to put it this way, whether, I don't know. I don't know anything about bedroom feng shui. Queen size blow up bed in here. Anyway, this is where my closet is with all my clothes. So yeah, as you can see, the room is just quite spacious. I just have a blow up bed there and the bed doesn't really take up a lot of room. And then we still have all of this room to play with, which is amazing. The bathroom, which is on my side. And this bathroom is so big and I'm so happy. And I've got lots of storage. I've been able to put so much stuff in here i'm still tidying so don't judge it suits me very well it's big enough like i don't need it any bigger than this and i also still need to get a shower um cover for this bathroom as well just like the other bathroom but that's it really but that's it really it's just a two bed two bathroom apartment very very cute and um, it's everything that i want it to be it's everything that i dreamt that it would be and it's very suitable for me so i just now need to decorate it get things to put all of that makeup stuff there's so much going on that i think i just need to sort it out and i've only got a week which is making me nervous but i think it's gonna be fine like very 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 empty apartment tour and i hope you enjoyed it i'm really looking forward to getting this place furnished and especially the office because i'm a phd student and we'll be doing a lot of studying and that's gonna like I just need to get serious with my studies and I feel like until the apartment is done, I won't be able to focus very well. So I'm about to head out right now to go to Walmart to go and find furniture, find groceries, just find the little things that I need because it's not, it's not, it's not good. I need to find a bed, especially because this blow up bed, as much as it's like really cute, I do need a bed in, at the end of the day. Um, yeah, I'm gonna go to Walmart and do some shopping and stuff. But if you have any suggestions on color schemes, I don't wanna do nudes and white. See like what I'm wearing right now? See how I'm wearing cream and white? I feel like that's always my default. And I had my apartment in London be these colors that I'm wearing. And in the end, you feel like you're in a bit of a hospital. It feels like too white and too clean and too, you know, I want some color. So I'm thinking of going olive, green, with like some accents of gold and maybe some bits of black. And yeah, I'm just avoiding the whole cream and white um, kind of like 
decoration set so if you have any suggestions for colors i was thinking of doing yellow accents but i don't know if putting yellow in the house would be too taking it too far with my love for yellow but if you have any suggestions please tell me um i'm gonna go to walmart now and sort things out i need to get bin bags oh my god i need to write that on my shopping list i need bin bags la 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 i need some bin bags okay i've got bin bags on the list um so yeah i'm gonna go love you so much and thank you so much for supporting me welcome to the apartment tour and i hope you liked it Mwah.